Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Los Blancos podcast. Today we will be just discussing about Ramos's departure. Yeah. And I'm not joined by Sean this week. It's just me to discuss about Ramos. This is pre-recorded, so any news that comes after Thursday, I will have to include in the week after because I've got to go somewhere. So hope you guys enjoy today's episode hit that like and subscribe and let's get straight into the podcast so yesterday evening uh, i was just coming back from football and um my phone i got a notification from my phone from Fabrizio romano stating that sergio ramos would be leaving and the club al- announcement would follow soon and I I was, uh, you know, your word can't sum up how what I was feeling at that time. But I'll try and say that I was feeling distraught. That that's that's the only way to say it. You know, one of the players that you know, uh, he is ultimately one of the reasons why I support Real Madrid. Why I love Real Madrid. Why Real Madrid is my life. And that now he's leaving and seeing him in a different jersey other than the white of Los Blancos is is unimaginable and un, and seeing him wherever he goes, PSG, Man United, Man City, Bayern, wherever he goes, right? I'll always be supporting him because he is, he is an icon of the club. He's one of the greatest ever players, you know. Top ten players ever for Andrew, in my opinion, and the best ever defender that uh, that Rounded certainly have, have ever had. And the world, he is the best defender ever. Full stop. And now he's off, and once again we have mistreated a legend. And in not respecting their legacy and just giving them a press conference to say goodbye. Ultimately, he deserves more than that. He deserves to be, um, he deserves to, he deserves to realistically have more than that. He deserves to have, I don't know, things named after him, the, the training ground. He has left that legacy, you know. Ninety two forty eight. That that is one of the most iconic moments for this club, in such in such a pr- prestigious club. Ninety two. He he is ultimately the one that that gave us that that Ladisimo title over our arch nemesis, one of our nemesis in Atletico Madrid. He he is Mister Real Madrid. And now he's leaving. He, he he takes all the memories away, with him. And I always, want, I will always be supporting him wherever he goes. You know, sixteen years. You know, six, sixteen years. He was he came here, eleventh of December two thousand and five. Sixteen years, I mean. Wow, I mean, that is <laughs> unbelievable. And he's and he's had so many rumors. Oh, he's going to go to Man United over the years, but he's never left. He's he's stuck loyal to Real Madrid, and that's 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 what's so good about him. He's he is Mister Real Madrid. You know, people are speculating that he'd leave for. Eight months, nine months now, um, and in the last couple of, a couple of weeks, we've had we've been told that he wants to accept the offer, and that was confirmed in the press conference today, that he wanted to accept the offer. But he was not told that the offer was no longer on the table, which is disgraceful. I, I think. You know, he was willing to take the pay cut. He's willing to take the year, 
the one year deal. So why aren't you giving him the deal? That that was what the problem was. Now he's done it. I, I don't understand what was changed. And that's that's not good enough. Because and I don't think Alaba's arrival changed that. It might change Varane's future and I fully understand if it does. But with Ramos I don't think it does because you know, Ramos's contract have, has been there after the after the Alaba deal. So I don't think it's taking the chunk out of Ramos's deal. So now Ramos is leaving, Alaba's coming in and I don't know if him leaving is, is such a good idea. I've, I've become more open to the idea of Varane leaving rather than that Ramos. I, I was thinking Ramos staying is much better than Varane uh, staying in turn because Varane is obviously a fantastic footballer in the prime of his career, but we can still get a fee for him. And I think if an offer does come, I still think we should accept it and try and get Akunda instead. But now Ramos is leaving as well and it's it's just not it's not it's not it's not it's not great, is it? And I'm just gonna recap what he's done for Real Madrid. Obviously he's sixteen years. He's made six he's played six hundred and seventy one games in that time. Which let that sink in. Six hundred and seventy one football games. 671 football games, you know, 90 minutes football games, you know, that, that's going to count loads, you know, that is absolutely fantastic, and he scored 101 goals in that time, 101 goals for a centre-back slash right-back in his early years, is, is just, is, it's sensational, sensational is not the word to describe it, you know, it is, legendary statistics those are in the modern era you know not when you know back then back yonder when i don't know computers didn't exist and all these statistics did not exist right what i mean is here in the here and in the now ramos is the best player is the best defender that's ever been has ever graced the world, you know, and penalties, free kicks, headers, just full on shots at goal. He scored them all for us, and it's all all of that is leading up to that ninety two forty eight. Ninety two forty eight is, you know, also for most Madristas that is the pinnacle pinnacle of of rounded what they've seen, including mine. You know that that is. You know, even better than three P. That was probably one of the best moments ever for me. And that obviously that's not. I haven't been a lot around for very long, but that is probably one of the best moments of my life so far. And to say that Sergio Ramos was or the reason for that is. Is, is is thank you thank you Sergio thank you so much and he's 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 obviously changed from right back to centre back reached the pinnacle of his career at under Mourinho and he's he's shown his best best level and he's been the best centre back no doubt for the last ten years he's constantly been nominated for for in the team of the year eleven and in the been nominated for the best UEFA's best defender of the year and rightly so he's been the best defender and if you if there are Barcelona fans watching this listening to this then I don't, I don't have time for your comparisons to put your because like it, it, it's the end of an era thank you and I don't care about your comparisons to to put your even though I do believe that it, Ramos is much better than Puyol. it's 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 time to reflect on a, on the end of an era for Real Madrid. End of an era, and I thought I was sad when Ronaldo left. This is I'm 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 feeling much worse now that Ramos has left because because he has such a 
a, a connection to the Real Madrid fans. He is a he is a Madrista. He is a Madrista more than a lot of people. And to have that in a player who is willing to die for the, for the white of Madrid is 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 fantastic and it's it's key, you know. And uh, with him leaving you know, with Ronaldo leaving, he was my favourite player at the time. Um, you know, I, I was truly, truly distraught, uh, as I am, but it felt different with Ronaldo because Ronaldo obviously hadn't spent as much time with with Ronaldo, you know, and it felt like he was he was giving up Ronaldo to move on for a different challenge. And the fact is that Ronaldo, realistically, he he could go anywhere. And he didn't want to stay at Real Madrid. Ramos did want to stay at Real Madrid. He was he he had ambitions of that, and now he's off. And I can't believe this is a goodbye. But it is, and it's hard for us to accept that as Real Madrid fans. But it's happening, and and there's nothing we can do about it. You know, Florentino, uh, I thought he would get this deal done. Back in you know, October, November, I thought you'd get it done, but it hasn't happened and it's got to this stage and now he's off. So that will be the end for this podcast. Hope you join us next week. If there are any better bits of news for next week, you know, this is not the greatest news and I'm not feeling great. I don't, I don't... I'm feeling really sad. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.